can you have a good marriage with a Filipina? Um, the reason I want to bring this up today is you see the old comment now and again where people go, all Filipinas are this, all Filipinas are that, just slating them. Yet, at no point do these guys look in the mirror. I know some of you guys have had bad experiences, but guess what? A lot of the stuff you caused yourself. A lot of the stuff you would have seen red flags relating to the relationships. A lot of the, you guys have got issues. The amount of guys that uh, got bipolar issues in the Philippines is phenomenal. Um, as well as other issues. And at the same time, you're expecting this woman to put up with a lot of stuff she was completely unaware of when they got into a relationship. Foundation of relationship is honesty and communication. If you don't, if you start off with lies and everything else, then hey ho, things deteriorate quite rapidly. In the same way, if you don't do your homework and research the part that you're looking at, then hey ho, same thing. There are many traits out there that are so easy to read. Um, I find it very difficult for some somebody actually to walk themselves into these relationships. You know, at the end of the day, everything is already there. If the person is immature, personally, I wouldn't have anything to do with them. No interest whatsoever. Because I am like, I, I'd be marrying a woman, not a child. In the same way, if they have a lot of other stuff around the fact that they're always on the mobile phone, they don't seem that connected with you, etc., etc., why are you getting married? But at the same time, meet the right person. It's the complete opposite. You have somebody that has a strong foundation with you that goes into the relationships on the basis that this is long term, this is lifelong, and they will put up with a lot of crap as well. There's a few relationships at the moment going through some hard times, some of it through ill health, some of it through issues with other people, but the point is, I know several women that may be tired of the relationships, but at the same time will not budge, they will not give in. They're waiting for their partners to improve in whatever way it's going on. They will persevere. They could walk out the door at any time. They could take the husband for half the money and all this stuff that people talk about when things go badly wrong. But they stick by their husbands because although the, the husbands um, may be difficult people, they're not generally difficult with them. It is normally down to circumstance. So what I do recommend is recognizing your partner in a relationship, recognizing your partner's needs, recognizing that you're in this for a lifelong commitment. Too many people go into a relationship and think it's just going to be, we've got married, moved back to the West, everything's going to be great. You haven't even set the foundations of being together yet. You haven't invested time in each other. What you have done is basically signed the contract and then brought somebody to your own country without actually setting a foundation of what this contract means. Where's the love? How do you develop the love? How do you develop the relationship? Why is this person committed to you beyond a visa, a visa and uh, moving into your house or whatever? At that point, you may not have a relationship yet, but you need to establish one as soon as you can. You need to put the effort in. You need to develop the relationship. The woman's unlikely to leave unless you pick a bad woman to be with. But then sitting there going, all Filipinas are this and all Filipinas are that because your wife left you. Look in the mirror. Look at the relationship. Look at the red flags that were coming up. The person to blame is yourself. Because all this other stuff, nine times out of ten I can see it. I'll say nine times out of a hundred probably. No, 99% out of a hundred. You can see it. You can see the stuff's going on. Because the, the women predominantly, I know, are all marriage material. And they're all long term. And they're all looking for long term. And or they're already married and in long term relationships. Because they've already played the field. They've already done all the other stuff that people do in their 20s and something. They're settling down for long term relationships. And when they go into a marriage, that's it. They're not interested in leaving and finding somebody else later on. They want a husband that they can work with. They want a husband that respects them, looks after them and treats them well. 
in return, they'll look after the husband, treat him well, and better than any Western woman would. Because in reality, they are committing to the relationship 110%. But a lot of guys don't put the same effort in. A lot of guys simply assume this woman is going to be this, this woman. But they often pick the wrong woman. And this is why I say they don't put the same effort in. Because they didn't even put the effort in at the beginning. Because they were written that woman off at day one. As soon as she started going, can you send me money? And you go, but I've only been talking to you for an hour. Goodbye. Um, but instead they go, oh, they, their daughter was sick. It's like, but why is this your problem? You know, I get into these conversations, but you'll get people argue with me that I'm wrong on this. But then when they do get divorced or the relationship breaks down, they go, Matt, she left me with the blah, blah, blah. And it's like, we have discussed this multiple times, but you just completely ignore everything I said. That's, I don't want to hear the sympathy stuff because I'm not interested. You created that environment. You were warned. You could see it. I don't make the decisions for you, but I tell you, be aware of this, look at this, why is this happening? But at the same time, that is not all Filipinas. Most of the people I know are happily married and I left the Philippines, well, sorry, went to the Philippines 2007, 2008. Very few are divorced. Very few have had broken relationships. They're predominantly all in long-term relationships because they put the groundwork in. They made sure they met the right person. They made sure the person was at a level of commitment. And at the same time, that they, they were actually committing to the relationship 100% as well. Which also means looking after your partner, encouraging your partner to do stuff, and keeping the marriage alive. If you want to get married, that's what I say. Put the effort in. Don't. Don't assume loneliness is going to fix something by giving you, you know, getting somebody new in your life. It won't. All these other bits need to fall into place as well. Just having companionship with somebody doesn't mean they're as happy as you are. They may not be. I know several people that have had relationships where the guys have been pretty bad for various reasons. And when the, the girlfriends had the opportunity, they've left. And they've took a lot of cash and other things with them. And then the guys are sitting there whining to me, Matt, this is this. And I'm like, guess what? You created it. She was a good, good woman and everything else. You just pushed her far enough to the point you broke the camel's back. Got no sympathy whatsoever for you. Um, but at the same time, recognize your own faults. Recognize where you're wrong. Because if you can do that and at the same time recognize what's right in somebody else and recognize where the flaws are, where something may be wrong or things don't seem right and not get into a relationship with those types of people and you find the right person, then yeah, you're setting yourself up for a long-term marriage. You're setting yourself up to be with somebody that will love you, will commit to you and will be there by your side for the rest of your life. Thanks for watching.